Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, um, I don't know how to start this video because I'm kind of nervous. Not really nervous, just like so excited. What, guys? I got hired at Sephora! I don't know how to act about this. But yeah, so I'm basically just gonna walk you through um, my experience with it you know, what I've gone through to this point to get to where I'm at and everything it took for me to get here. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got hired at Sephora and my experience with it, then please keep watching this video. I want to say I, let me just, let me just give you a backstory. I probably applied at four or five Sephoras more than one time and I've called them and I've never gotten an interview to any of them. So when I got the call that I got the interview, I was like jumping for joy. I was like freaking out. I was telling everyone I knew. And even though I didn't want to jinx myself, I was just like so excited to, to even get the chance for them to see me and to talk to me and actually give me a chance. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a little backstory about how I have applied um, and like my luck. So, that, so you can kind of see how this has been like a big deal for me. So anyways, I applied at... Um, the Sephora that I got hired at, I applied there, I actually applied there when they first opened because they're a newer location, and they opened last year about the same time, and I applied there at that time, but once again, it was one of those Sephoras that I didn't get the call, I didn't, you know, I didn't get anything, basically. So yeah, so I applied there um, whenever they opened, and so um, one night, I was on my computer, and I was like, you know, I'm at my current job, and I'm like... I, you know, I'm just getting burned out of this place. I need something new. I need something exciting. I need something more from my job, and I just wasn't getting it where I was at. Got on Indeed, I think it's called. It's one of those job websites, and I just typed in Sephora and, like, around me or whatever, and I think there was probably, like, four different locations that came up, but the closest one to me was um, Cinco Ranch. If you're from Houston or Katy, you know that area. Cinco Ranch came up. And I was like, okay, that's the closest one to me. And I already applied there, so maybe if they see me, you know, my name pop up again, maybe that'll just give me a bigger chance or whatever. I applied, and it had been about three or four days, and I hadn't heard anything yet. So I was like, I don't want this to be like every other time where I just don't hear from anybody. I got on the phone, and I called the um, location that I applied at, and I talked to the manager, and she explained, hey, yeah, we're going to be doing, we're still hiring, we're going to be doing callbacks in the next week, so you know. Um, look out for that. She wrote my name down. So that's how that went. So I'm sitting here waiting. Okay, I gotta wait, what, another week or so before somebody calls me? Well, I was just like a nervous wreck. I was just like, nobody's gonna call me. And this is gonna be the same thing again and again and again. So I was nervous. And then probably, probably a couple days later, I got the call from Sephora. I believe it was on Thursday. And... They're like, yeah, we want to interview at this day, at this time. Could you come in? And I was like, hell yeah, I can come in. I mean, obviously, I didn't say it like that. But in in my mind, I didn't even think about, do I have work? Do I have school? I was like, I don't care. I'm going to make it happen. I don't care if I got work. I will miss it. This is my focus right now. Here, what I got to do, I'm going to this interview. I, you know, the, so the first thing she said when she said, can you come to the interview, that's, I was like, yes, I might, you know, no-brainer. Celebrated, yada yada. And then, um, I think it was the following Tuesday, I had my interview, and it was a group interview, which I was intimidated by it, just because I'd never done a group interview. And I wasn't sure how I would do with, like, other girls, and, like, I don't like feeling like I'm competing with other people, which I don't think necessarily I was competing, but... You just hear other girls' answers, and you look at them, and you're like, okay, you know, what could I say that's going to be any different than what they're saying? You know what I'm saying? Because when you go into an interview, you kind of all have similar answers, it seems like. I was intimidated a little bit by it, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to be as confident as I can. And I had a lot of advice from my friend's cousin. Her name's Morgan. So if you're watching this... Thank you so much. She was, she works at Sephora as well. And she basically just walked me through everything. She was like, this is what they're probably going to ask you. You know, this is how it should be, yada, yada, yada. And so she kind of helped calm my nerves down when I went in for my group interview. 
And then when I went for my second interview, she kind of helped me a little bit there too. So I appreciate that. So I went in, did the interview. It went good. I was confident. I mean, as confident as you can be. I mean, you're always going to probably doubt yourself. Because there's two other people you're like, dang, they were really good. Dang, this bitch is really good too. Not calling you bitches. So I was like, okay, let's just wait it out. And the hardest part about this whole process has been the waiting time. Because I'm so used to, like, if I get a job, I get an interview, it's a one-person interview, one-on-one, -on -one, the next day, you're hired, on the spot, you're hired. That's just how I'm used to. This is, like, a big job to me. This is, like, something I really want. I've wanted this ever since I got into makeup, which was two and a half, three years ago. So you can tell this is, like, see, like, I just get anxious talking about it. I don't know why. It's just, like... It's such a big deal for me, and I don't think anybody understands that. I think some people just see, oh, yeah, it's, it's a fun job. It's Sephora. No, this is like, because I've been so, I'm getting off on a tangent, but in my life right now, I'm so confused about where I want to be in my life. I'm so confused about which path I'm going to go down. I'm so confused about, all I know at the end of the day is that when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm, you know, learning about new makeup products and all this other stuff, that's when I'm my happiest. That's like when... I'm in my zone, I'm in my comfort zone. This job means more to me than just a fun job where you play with makeup all day. It's, it goes much deeper than that. You know, I'm getting all sentimental. <laughs> what was I saying? Shit. Eating process sucked. It, yeah, it sucked. Just, that's just because I was so anxious about wanting to know like now, now, now. And so we had that interview Tuesday and she said, probably, you probably won't hear from us until Friday or Monday about a second interview. And I was like, excuse me. I was like, that is too long. I had to wait. And Friday came around and I didn't hear anything. And I was like, this is it. This is where it ends. This, just, just give up now, Emily. This is where it ends. This isn't happening for you. Just move on and just don't. Just don't even worry about it. Well, <laughs> so I'm all like emotional. And then Monday rolls around and I hear from them and I was like, thank you. They called me and they're like, hey, we want to set up a second interview with you and the store director. And I was like, like I said, I wasn't even thinking about my other responsibilities. I was like, yeah, cool, sure. I'm on it. So I ended up having to have work the next day, which my manager, she is... She's like the best manager I've ever had, and I'm not going to get emotional about this either, but she's like the best manager I've ever had, and like I almost feel like we're family. It's been three years that I've worked for her, and she's just taught me a lot of things, and she was so happy for me. It was ridiculous. Like most bosses, they're not going to be happy if you're leaving, but she knew, she knew the situation we were in at the job I'm at, and she knew I wasn't happy, and she knew that you know Sephora would make me my happiest so she was rooting for me and that means more to me than you will ever know so I'm gonna miss her <laughs> but anyways so I told her about it I was like look good news is I got a second interview and she's like oh yay and I was like the bad news is it's tomorrow and I work tomorrow <laughs> so she was like she's like well don't worry just you know go in there ace it and we'll handle it you know, don't even worry about it. So I was like, yes, props to you, girl. <laughs> so anyways, I feel like I'm so giggly in this video just because I don't know how, how to act about the situation. It's just kind of, like I said, it's just not even, it hasn't processed yet. Basically, it is the next day. So I go in for my interview, it's at 11. And I was in there for a little bit. I kind of, I like to go in early just so they can see like, hey, you're dedicated. Hey, you're on time, if not early. So I always like to go in early for my interviews. And so she took me back there, which the interview didn't, I mean, it, it kind of lasts. It was just like, probably just like the last interview it lasted about the same time length. And um, it was a one-on-one -on -one interview. So it was a lot more in my like comfort zone. It was a lot more like I could be myself and not worry about two other people. Just worried about, you know, me and this the store director. We're just gonna we're gonna click and we're gonna get it. We're gonna get this job. So I go in for the second interview, we talk, 
she asked me some of the similar questions that they asked me in the first interview, which I'm not going into a whole lot of the interview questions just because I know every interview is different. Like, I've watched videos where they said they're going to ask this, this, and this, and they didn't ask anything like that in my interview. I'm basically just going to ask you the main stuff, like your work history, you know, your experience, how would you handle that situation, how would you handle a situation here, stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. The... Second interview ended and um, she didn't tell me how long I'd have to wait to find out. She just said, I'm going to call your references. Everything checks out, then I will be emailing you. And I forgot to ask her. I think I was so like in the moment and nervous that I forgot to ask her like how long. You know, it was Tuesday and the days rolled by. And I'm like, all right, it's been 48 hours. <laughs> like, where's my email? Like, I need to know. And people were thinking I'm crazy, but no, like, it's just something that I'm not used to. I'm not used to having to wait to find out something. And then I feel like the longer I wait, the, the worse it is, better, you know, versus the better. Skip to, uh, my interview was Tuesday, so let's skip to Friday. Friday, I had to go to class, and for whatever reason, I was, like, depressed the whole morning. Like, I, you know, I just, I wasn't myself. Um, I wasn't smiling. I was just kind of down. And I, don't, and I think it was because I was getting discouraged about, like, why I haven't heard anything from them. And it was funny because the night before, or the night or two nights before, I had gotten Chinese food and I had gotten a fortune cookie. <laughs> and as cliche as it sounds, I got a fortune cookie and on the cookie it said something about good things will come your way before your next birthday. And I was like, maybe this is my sign that something's going to happen. And then, you know, the next two days roll by and nothing, nobody calls me. So I'm like... All right, fortune cookie, you're letting me down. It rolls on. Well, then I'm on my way to work, which it depressed me even more because I'm like, I'm going to this job that, you know, I'm not really happy at at the moment. And, you know, I just want to, I want this job. And so I'm going to work. I was talking to my mom about, you know, like how upset I was. And then I pull up to work. I kid you not, I had been staring at my phone all morning. Like, literally checking it just in case because I have my radio up sometimes and I don't hear my phone go off. So I've had it on loud all day checking it all day I was like no okay no all right are you sure are you sure no no I didn't see nothing <laughs> that's literally how I was all day which could probably be why I was upset I'm doing that and then we go I go to work and I pull in and I'm listening to music and I'm putting my shoes on like I was changing shoes and I look at my phone I do the same thing where I'm like Oh, and after I change my shoes, and I turn my radio down, and it shows the phone number. I was like, how? How have I been checking my phone religiously all day, and I missed this call? How? <laughs> I was just like, this, this is my look. So I was like, freaking out. Keep in mind, I had been checking my emails these past those past three days, too. I had been checking religiously my emails, because she said she's going to email. Even before she called. I was checking my emails and nothing. <laughs> so she leave. I wait for her to leave me a voicemail because I know they usually leave me a voicemail. And she left me a voicemail. And should I play it for you guys? Should I play it for you guys? Okay, I think I'm gonna play it for you guys. Calling um to just let you know um if you can just please look through your emails. Um, I know you probably got a decline um, letter from us, but it's actually we're going to resend you with another one with create an offer. So we're going to go ahead and create an offer to you. And if you can just look for that and fill out the paperwork um, so we can get you. Well, keep in mind that when I listened to this email, I still didn't realize they were offering me the job because when they said create an offer email, I was like, I, you know, I was still not registering that they were offering me the job. And so I call her back and I'm talking to her and I'm checking my email while I'm talking to her and I'm not getting anything. I, I didn't even get the decline email that they said they sent. Like, are you, you know, are you sure you have the right email? She read it back to me, I was like, that's it. Well, as I'm talking to her, the email pops up and I'm reading it and it's, you know, talking about, you know, we're happy to extend you a position at Sephora, effective this date and, you know, we're happy to have you join this team. Here's your paperwork you have to fill out before your first day. <laughs> For whatever reason, I still wasn't registering it that they had hired me. I think I just was like, what? Like, I just assumed it would be an email saying, congratulations. 
we are, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I think I expect something different. So when I was on the phone with her and I was reading it, I was like, wait, so that means I got the job? And she's like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, I like broke down. Like she probably thought I was crazy. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. You know, tear, but she probably didn't hear, you know, realize I was crying. So I had hung up and keep in mind, I was fixing to go into work and I just lost it. Like I was crying. I was just... I want to get emotional thing. I've been, every time I think about it, I get emotional. And I just, I was like, there's no way. There's no way that I have come this far in the whole two and a half years that I've worked for this. There is no way this is happening right now. And like I said, most people think I'm crazy. They're like, this bitch is crazy. She, what is she so hype about? It, it really is a big deal. And, you know, I asked her about moving up because when I applied, I applied for cashier. But I realized there was a position called color, which where you could branch out and do people's makeup and get certified for it. And that's like where I want to be. That is how I got hired at Sephora after applying to like four or five different ones in a time span of two years. So, yeah. And all you got, like, oh my god, I have so many people in my life that I didn't even realize were so supportive. You know, um... Snapchatting, you know, congratulations, good luck, you got this, have faith in yourself, because I doubt myself a lot, like a lot, like I was like, I don't think I can do this, I don't think that I can, you know, I don't, I just don't think I can do it, you know, I think, well, am I going to be good enough for this job, am I going to be to the standard that they want me to be, am I going to be able to perform like they want me to perform, and I know in my abilities, I know I have good customer service, and I know that about makeup like I know that I know a lot of things but it's still in the back of my mind it's a Sephora it is a big major company and you just think in your head am I good enough which I'm sure runs through a lot of people's head that is how I got hired at Sephora it has been an emotional roller coaster it has been crazy it has been a time that I didn't think was gonna happen but yeah so I'm gonna be a Sephora girl and I can't even wrap my head around it I cannot wrap my head around it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you apply at Sephora, you're thinking about applying, do it. Don't give up. Um, no matter how many times, you know, they either shut you down or they don't call you or they don't interview you, keep trying. It will happen. I promise you, if you work hard at it, you know, you will get there. So yeah, that is my story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.